G'day mate and welcome back to Satisfactory with me, Jetty. We're standing here looking out over um, our Ayers Rock, which is now no longer a safe area because updates have happened. And when updates happen, occasionally things respawn. Um, I have a, a hoggy friend up there and a alpha hoggy friend down there, which is means that's now a bad zone. I want to try and avoid that part of the base um, until we upgrade ourselves slightly. So I'm actually standing over here on what was a temporary build that has no belts not clipping at all. Um, if you remember end of last episode, which I also should apologize for, um, if you did get a notification about last episode, I accidentally misclicked and it went out on Wednesday night rather than Thursday night. So it also overlapped with a Factorio episode. So I don't think the notifications went out to everybody. Um, I know personally, I didn't get a notification for my own damn episode. So yeah, I'm expecting it sort of broke a little bit. Um, but I am standing on top of a temporary build. So we have that storage container and... That, I can't hit it. That storage container all the way over there, which we were just storing iron ingots in. Um, just as like an overflow if we weren't using them fast enough. And I went and dumped them all into this storage chest, which because they're already pre-smelted, meant I could run them straight into uh, assemblers to make, well, rods, to make screws, to make this, to make that, to make everything. And we're just going to grab all the extra iron rods that we don't need thank you um basically let me just take the excess production that we had and process it and consequently uh well, maybe you guys need to be left running for a little bit consequently um i went and did two temporary rotor builds so these were just using the leftover the leftover, yeah, leftover is probably the accurate, most accurate word. Uh, the leftover iron uh, ingots that we had from elsewhere in the base and just was processing them into rotors. And it's a temporary build. Everything can be scrapped a little bit. But as you can see, in the time it's been running, which is not that long at all, to be honest, um, I've now got 110 rotors, which is enough to do today's mission. Today's mission is a water extractor. So I'm really hoping to get water extractors coal generators up and running and move ourselves off the biofuel onto uh coal power so we need coal and we need water now that's changed that rock was never there before and that's full of uranium now 540 so i have coal over there uh let's do that again Yeah, we can see there's three of them over there, and then there's more in that direction. Um, is there anything under that rock? Near that rock? That's a lot of uranium. Yeah, I know. That's high radiation levels. No. Hannah, the map developer, has just decided we're just going to put a rock out in the middle of the desert, cover it with uranium nodes, and say good luck to whoever built their base anywhere near that. Alright, so we're going to go out and we're going to hunt down our coal. Uh, actually, no. Um, I'm going to put in some cuts because me hunting down stuff is not a lot of fun. Um, and because I can. And I want to see if we can up our tech in any way, shape or form. Because I'd really like the upgraded bashy stick. Um, if we had the upgraded bashy stick, I could probably play with those hogs over there. Maybe not two at a time, but, um, yeah, I could definitely do something about those hogs. And hopefully the ma'am pocket dimension. Awesome. Okay. Uh, rebung. I could actually afford that. Uh, make one handler. No. Caterium. That's a three second research. Okay. Let's get an AI limiter. Uh, on top of that, oh, uh, updates. The power pole got upgraded. It's now got a whole new um, mesh, I think it's called. Uh, basically, it looks different. It looks very, very different. Uh, sure, let's go get some more Caterium wire, which is in that box over there. And then I'll give us Mark II power poles. 
wrong one. Oh, and the storage boxes also got an update. They look way better than they used to. So, yeah, the the game is constantly under 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 development, and things are always changing. I probably should have looked at that saying five minutes. Uh, okay, so we're gonna need AI limiters before we can get smart splitters. Uh, that was also a five minute research. That one's done. That one's locked. That requires a yellow power slug, slug that I don't have. That requires us to actually do something about it. And that requires us to find an actual sulfur node and a coal node and put the two together. Okay, uh, on to you. Jump pads. No, not really. Uh, basic steel. Vehicular transport. Tier 4. Improved melee combat. That's the one I want. Please ship whatever I require. Uh, because... Oh boy, do I want to start smacking some monsters. Uh, nope. This storage box. One, two, three. Uh, and goodbye, rocket ship. Milestone reached. R&D inflated your pocket dimension, added an additional hand equipment slot, and have provided an improved Xeno Zapper with increased strength and range. Bye. I don't like the fact that it still goes through that rock. That needs to be fixed. Uh, okay, we want the Xeno Basher, which requires two Xeno Zappers. So we'll just craft up one of those real quick. And then if I put that in my inventory, we should be able to get a Xeno Basher. Finally. Finally. This will even out the odds a little bit. Uh, I am going to be very short on reinforced iron plate now, but I love these starting animations. I don't know why it's sh chittering around so much in my hand, uh, but thankfully we can now beat the crap out of different, different nasty critters. Okay, uh, you guys still have plenty of power, good. Alright, Reinforced Iron Plate is actually our slowest item currently. Yeah, I'm actually stealing it out of the machine. Because we're that poor. Alright, we're going to go... I'm going to go put in a cart. We're going to go hunt down this coal. And I'll see you... Ooh. Actually. Uh, maybe I didn't want to destroy one of those. Nah. Uh, we're just going to rip up all of these because these are all full of reinforced iron plate uh and yeah i'm gonna put in a cut and go collect um go find out where the coal is that's what i'm gonna do words words uh so i will see you guys after the cut Just had to try that on, out on the way through. So that's going to be another limestone. Yep. It should be just over this ridge. 100 meters. Hello! Uh, you're way bigger. You're uh, you're a red dude. You're nasty. Uh, yep. Really nasty. Uh, why are you protecting the coal? That's not nice. Please stop that. Uh, nuts. We'll have some nuts. Uh, I feel a little bit better about our encounter now. Oh, are you dead? Yes. Awesome. See, Xeno Basher. Way better. Okay, so we have coal, we have coal, uh, you're a normal node, you're a normal node, you're a hog, you're dead, oh, there's two of you, you're both dead, cool, Xenobasher, way better, uh, you're a normal node, you're water, but I have a feeling you're edge of the map water. 
which means I might not be able to use... <gasps> Do not fall off the edge yet. Uh, oh, no, according to this, I can. Oh, that's a long way down. <sighs> See, the problem with um, water is you need to bring it... The problem with water is you now have to account for head height. So... If you wish to pump water up a hill, you need to put in pumps to pump it up a hill. Which definitely complicates things. Uh, what's that? Just a chunk of coal on the ground. Okay. Or we have that oasis over there. Oh. That's now blocked off. That was not blocked off before. Well, there you go. Uh, in fact, we have an oasis right here. With another red dude. I cannot put a watering extractor in there. So we're going to leave you alone by... That's more uranium. No, Caterium. Whoop. Sulfur. You're not following me, are you? Your sulfur, right? Yes! We might be able to make enough black powder eventually. Mm. So, this is our oasis right here. Now, this definitely has water in it. It's whether or not any of this water is actually deep enough for us. Yes, we can put water extractors through here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to drag our coal from the other side of the, the elephant graveyard bones. Uh, we're going to drag our coal from there to here and then do our power plant here. Which also means... Yep. Oh, he's back as well. Everybody's respawned. Yay! Uh, wire's too long. Wire's good there. Great. Oh, you're protecting a yellow power slug. Now I know what you're doing. Nope, you're still watching. Never mind. Uh, there's another one up there who looks to be a green chap. Green chaps are nastier than the red chaps. Can I put that up? Oh, I yeah. can. Yeah, we'll put that up there. Ooh, what's that? Raw quartz. Sort. Oh, I can put... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Miner. Miner in my hand. Now I can pick up the quartz as well. Mm, drag that. To... That's the limestone... Wire's too long, so again, we're going to put this on a ridge. We'll put it up here near my green friend. Where's the coal? Over there. Wire too long, wire too long. I like putting them on the top of a ridge. Fine, we'll put it there, and then I'll put it on top of the ridge. Okay, production, a minor mark one. Uh, do I have to have that in my inventory? Uh, probably. Minor mark one, yes. Uh, put that in my inventory, pick that up. Uh, minor mark one. So this is going to give us 30 coal. Oh, you're impure. Forget you. Face this way, please. You're normal. Okay. So this will give us 60. To here. This will also give us another 60. So we're going to bring... 
that to there. And then actually uh minor. Face you this way. Grab our power. We'll put it on the ridge line as well. Uh, put a power here. Hook that up. Hook that up. Really? You decided to clip, didn't you? Uh, there to there to there. We're going to want our number six. Six. I'm going to put in some conveyor poles. Come on, either side of the belt. Thank you. Uh, like so. And... You know what? We might just run them both on conveyor poles. All right. I'm going to put in a cut and I'll see you guys back when we are at our oasis and have our water hooked up. Um, so I'll be back. And we're back with some decisions to make. So our coal belts have come up to literally right where our um, original uh, stone miner is. Um, limestone, that is. Limestone miner is. So... I've put a water extractor out there and then I've put down just three foundations. Um, the main reason is, does it tell us here? So a water extractor is default extraction rate of 120 cubic meters of water per minute. Default pressure of 10 allowing 10 meter vertical rise of fluids. Extracts water from the water from the body of fluid built on. Note the water needs to be deep enough that the, uh, that rivers do not commonly suffice. So, the important things we got from that is it pumps up 10 meters and it does 120 uh, liquid per minute or per second or whatever. It does 120 uh, water. Now, that means I want to build power somewhere, but I don't want to build it over the water. But that fluid extractor from that pump, output, pipe, whatever you want to call it, is only going to go up 10 meters. Um, that's level with the bottom of that. That's four. That's eight meters. If I put a organization, no, foundations, a two meter foundation on top, that's 10 meters. It doesn't even pump it as high as the building is. So we need to put in pumps. Now, pumps are under logistics, I bet. Pipeline pump allows 20 pressure, uh, allowing 20 meter vertical rise of fluids. Um, output fluids are 300 mm, cubic meters per minute um, and can be attached to a pipeline to ad ad allow additional pressure. Use for, useful for overcoming verticality and balancing out throughput. Now, I'm not worried about balancing out throughput because we're going to ignore that and I'll explain why shortly. But yeah, I don't want to build over the water, but I definitely want to build the coal plants up above so i think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring the water out bring it up like eight meters naturally put in a pump and then we can go another 20 meters above that and that's sort of what i'm aiming for oh it's a doggo i don't have berries bye doggo um so we need to well that's basically where i'm at so we need to i want to build some foundations i want to build this definitely on foundations um and sure that's as good a spot as any to start and i'm figuring that tall is probably a good spot to start and then foundations i only want two meters or one meter I think the glass ones come in one meter. So I want to have one meter foundations. Something like that to get us started. And now I need to be able to get myself up there and continue building. So again, going to put in more cuts. I will be back after I get up there and build ourselves a base to start from. Actually, I'm starting to think that's even too tall. That's 10... 14, 10, 
four, eight, twelve, sixteen. That's close. You know what? I'm going to pull all of those off. And I'm going to come down one time. Because that should be enough to clear everything, including the poisonous gas. Might not clear Mr. Tree Tree over there, but that should be far enough up that... Yeah, I'm going to build bad ramps again, just so I can get up there. Uh, can I jump that? Sure. Alright, I'm going to be back shortly after I build a metric crap ton of foundations. Um, and hopefully we're far enough away from all the poisonous gas that I don't end up with a gas treatment, because that would be bad. Anyway, I'll be back in a bit after the foundations are thrown down. And with the sun setting, you can see that we've got our foundations down and our favorite stalker has come to, yeah, come along and say hello. So we've got the foundations down. We've got a decent amount of area to start working in. I'm going to put in a cut here and wait till daybreak because it's a little bit hard to see in the dark. Um, and I'll see you guys in the morning. We do have, no, this side, all over there, up the tick's bum. There is, oh no, that's its head. I can't tell sometimes. Uh, there is a ramp. Are you seriously walking up my ramp? Yeah, right there's a ramp. Really? Okay, sure. I'm really half tempted. Yep, I'm doing it. You can't escape now. You are our pet tick who shall live in our coal plant forever. Um, yeah, I'm going to be back in the daybreak. In the meantime, like Dead Set, if you're playing on this biome, go out at night time. Green power slug, 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 purple power slug. You can see them so easily at night time. There's a whip. You know, all these things are bright and shiny and oh look, there's another power slug. There's some bees down there. I don't want to play with the bees. But yeah, um at night time you can see all the power slugs from a mile away in this biome. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna put in a cut. I will be back in the morning and we'll get a power plant built. Welcome back to Satisfactory with me, Jetty. Well, actually welcome back outright um it's not no longer mid-morning um it's sort of mid-afternoon and we've got our favorite stalker up there just just watching what we're doing as we're doing it and i got a little bit carried away as you might see um and that belt's not straight and it's definitely not straight my eye in the sky can tell me that so we've got our we've got our water pump down here and i need to go through some of the basics on how we're going to hook this up now first things first we're going to want well, we have to get um, both coal into these machines along with getting in water. Now, these need 45 uh, cubic meters worth of water per, se uh, per, per minute, and they have a buffer of 50 cubic meters worth of water. On top of that, um, these little guys, as we covered before, only output 120 uh, cubic meters worth of water per minute, and a pipe... Uh, let's just grab a pipe. Yes, we still have our favorite um, trapped giant tick up here keeping us company. Uh, we'll put that pipe there. And no, I'm going to need another one. Say, just past our fourth one. And pipes. Of course, you're too short. Uh. I think you're going to be long enough to do that. We'll find out. So pipes have a max flow rate of 300 meters per second. So some simple maths. Um, and there are two things you've got to consider. Uh, also, if I throw some coal in here. Uh, no, you're not hooked up to power. And even then that might not work because you don't have water. There we go. Okay, so it takes four seconds to burn through one piece of coal. Now, that gives us a couple of calculations. That means each one of these guys is going to use 15 coal per second. So 15, 30, 45, 60, that's our whole belt used. On top of that, as I said, with the water and the water pipes, these guys are going to use 45 each. So it's 45, 90, 180. If I had two more on there, we'd be up to 270, which is just below our 300 threshold. So I'm going to do two things. I'm going to 
try and maximize our water and sort of overstretch our coal a little bit in hopes of getting Mark 2 miners. Now, before I go too much further, we're going to need two more water extractors because we're going to need three total. And I'm going to put those there. And the easiest way to hook up the pipes is straight from the input of one to the input of the other. And then from here to here. And we have a couple of different options. We have conveyor 2D option. So I find this by holding R and selecting one of the modes. So conveyor 2D, it looks a little bit funny when it hooks up to the, the pipes. Unless you... Well, if I was to put a pipe support right beside this one there and then I was to bend it with the mouse wheel like that and then we put a pipeline into nope not gonna have a bar of that all right let's try that again uh, put it right right on the edge and then we'll bend it one that way nope won't have a bar of that okay then we have the default one which Can you not, please? Sheesh. Here I am trying to give a demonstration. Okay. Then we have default, which sort of puts a bend at one end, straight pipe, bend at the other. And then we have my preferred, and it's only a preference, a vertical. Now, vertical has as straight a pipe as possible, then a bend, and then as straight a pipe as possible, and then a bend. This is, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit more realistic, because bending pipes is hard and annoying, and... People hate doing it and go away. Really? We're going to have to go deal with him. Cool. Problem solved. All right. So as I was saying, these guys output... No, hang on. I need to do two more things. I need to... Uh, wrong button. We need to go into here. I need a pipe cross junction and a pipe cross junction. This is the easiest way to hook three together, like so. Okay. Now, as I was saying, these guys are going to output 120 uh, cubic meters worth of water per minute. 120, 240, 360. Pipe does 300. So what we want to do is we want to trim down how much they're outputting just slightly. So we're going to actually take them down to 75% throughput. And the main reason is at the moment they use 20 megawatts. And before I go any further, again, another trick I use to hook up power to these guys is I can't build a power pole on the pipes at all. But if I grab power line power line, hook it up to an existing power pole, I can then put them on the pipes. Now, I know water and electricity mix well, so, you know, everything will be fine. And we'll hook into that one as well. And we can see here that, yeah, they normally use 20 megawatts worth of power. If we cut them down to 75%, we're going to go from 20 megawatts worth of power down to 12.6, which is a massive, massive saving. And when you underclock the machines, Doing a lot of little underclocks is way better than doing one machine with a massive underclock. So, in this case, we've just taken 25% off each. Gives us 90, 120, 270, which is the exact amount we need to run uh, three coal machines. Now, last thing we need to cover is trying to get the water up there. So, we can see we've got water there currently. And if I fall in the water again... And then we wander upstairs. We can see this pipe segment has no water in it. This pipe segment has some water in it. And this sort of represents how high the water has gone in the pipe. It's only gone 10 meters high. Um, and the rest of the pipe is completely empty. Now, uh, is this where it's fall down? That way, hopefully, I don't take any damage. So... There's a little bit of debate currently as to where it's measuring. Can I stand on the pipe, please?
Thank you. There's a little bit of a debate currently where it's measuring the height, the head height from, whether it's the height of the, where the pipe, uh, can I get a two meter foundation? Yes. Okay. Whether it's the height of the water or whether it's the height of the pipe or whether it's the halfway up the height, height of the pipe, who knows? But one thing you can do is if we go to walls and we paste some walls on the back like that, we can then go to logistics, pump, and we can actually tag the pump to the wall. And each time I go up one tick, that's one meter. So we can sort of gauge if that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About there, I figure, is probably ten meters. And then if we hook the power wire up to the power line right behind me, can I get close enough to touch the pump? Yes. So we can see flow rate is 200 and something cubic meters per minute. That's perfectly fine. Head lift is 15, 16. It'll max out at whatever 0.9 or 0.0 or 0.1 of a meter. Um, so it's going to max out at 16.9 meters, I expect. No, we're at 16.7. But we see the flow rate's dropped all the way down because every single pipe is going to be full of water. So that's roughly about 10 meters up. Uh, so everybody's happy here. We can now go back upstairs. And you can hear all the water extractors behind me have stopped running because they've filled this pipe with water and there's nothing left for them to do. So let's just grab... Nope. Grab our storage containers and start hooking up this end. Now, are you not straight? Really, JD? You can't be trusted with anything. Okay, straight pipe, please. All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a junction, uh, pipe cross, cross junction, right about here. Now, these are really, these are tricky to get straight on because there's no real indication of what is straight um, off these. So I find, again, the easiest way is to stand on top, stand right smack dam in the middle of this and aim at your feet and rinse and repeat. Um, that is if you want straight pipes. If you don't want straight pipes, well then just do it however you, however you want. Okay, uh, that goes in there, that goes in there. I'm gonna trim that off the end, that off the end, that off the end. I want two more coal, coal generators because uh, I want to build six because six is the amount of water I have and now I know I only have coal for four that's a separate problem so we're gonna bring this up to the center line for the machine and then that'll curve in there nicely uh, cross junction again centered on the pipe that we want to hook into right about there grab pipe in there and pipe in there okay so we've got water hooked up that's mission number one as we can see if we look at the very end pipe nope oh, we can see the we can see the rings are slowly moving uh, main reason is well it's just the flow rate they got little, lots of little T intersections they're going to peel off to. The flow rate will get here. It will get the liquid all the way to the end. We are pushing the exact amount if these machines are running at 100% um, performance. Now, you're never running your power plant at 100% performance. Because if you are, you're going to blow your power network if they're running 100% and it's going to fall over. So setting your water at 100% is perfectly fine. Setting your coal at 100% is, again, perfectly fine. Um, first thing we're going to do about our coal, because we don't have quite enough to keep this running, but that's perfectly fine. I'm really happy with that because what I want to do is at a later stage, I want to upgrade to uh, Mark II miners, which that's going to be even less straight. Yeah, that's less straight, JD. Uh...
belt. We want to come out to here. Of course, it's one belt section too. Many. Is that right? Nope. I'll try this again. There we go. Straight bit of belt. That storage container is the wrong spot. All right. I'm not having a good day. Storage container. Hard up against that. Yep. Uh, that's the green line, so we move back to, and then we hook in there. That's straight. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm ready for Mark II Miners when Mark II Miners come, okay? They're not going to come straight away. They're going to be an eventual project, but that's okay. I'm happy to wait. Um, when we upgrade to Mark II Miners, I'll be able to run twice as many power plants. So, I'll be able to run these six of this one water pipe. And then over here on the other side, I'll be able to run another two of this coal supply. So, it means I can put down a single, um, a single water extractor cap it to 75% and run just two uh, two coal plants or because I got two because I have two uh, mines over there plus I have an impure uh, it means I can run two off that one two off the other one and four off the other one I think which should be eight which should let me run these six another six another six then another two um, or something like that, you know. Um, I have options. So we're going to use a coal buffer for the meantime. Um, it's just going to give me a spot to put the excess coal. And should we run these at 100%, well, should we need to run the last two, we're going to start drawing out of our coal buffer. As for how to hook these up, now you've got two options. You can either run a conveyor lift up and over. And then you can, with some difficulty... Uh, Put conveyor pole stackers up and above. And then... No, it'll be on that line. So we'd have to take another stacker. And run stackers there. Join a belt from there to there. Put in a splitter lined up with that conveyor there. There is a chance this might just magically hook up. It magically hooks up like that. We'd need a... Uh, no, we'd be going straight in on this one. So we'd be going up. And... No, we can't make that curve. So we'd have to use a... Merger... There... Uh... And does that line up? There's coal going up. There's coal going sideways. There's coal maybe going in. Maybe going in. Definitely going in. Okay. So that's one option. It's a little bit messy. I'm not a fan of it. And unfortunately, I've run out of daylight. So you're going to have to wait till the morning for me to show you my alternative option. What I prefer to do when it comes to running coal. I'm happy running the water pipe in a straight line. Coal, I'd much prefer to do something else about. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. And it's daybreak. And we're back here with... Uh, I missed. Um, power plant tick. And just to show off how I normally set up my power plant. So... Uh, hang on, sorry. I'm going to turn eye in the sky around. Yeah, some problems happened um, overnight. I was trying to play with console commands and everything broke. Um, okay, so, I do not like running my belts of coal above. In fact, I really, really hate it. It's not impossible, but it's definitely very, very difficult. Um, can I stand here, please? It's very, very difficult to get all the belts lined up correctly. So, I like running mine underground. And that storage container is one tile too far forward. 
So let's try this again. Third time's a charm. Logistics. Conveyor lift. Okay, so we want to bring that down the exact amount. We want to bring that down the exact amount. And we want all those foundations to go in. Uh, if you don't know about mass deconstruct yet, uh, hold down control and flash over everything. And if you press the mouse button, it'll all go away. Okay, so I've come down to three meters. Three meters seems to be the exact amount that you need to come down to line up your conveyor lifts with the ground. Uh, and we're just going to put these in one at a time. And then hopefully you're lined up. No, you're not. Okay, we're going to have to come back and fix that. But then I want to put in mergers. Now, mergers naturally want to line up on the center of the power plant. You actually want them on the center of this underground, uh, this um, conveyor lift. And due to a recent update, if you line these up perfectly, you used to have to come in here and put in just the, the smallest conveyor belt in the world. Um, and it was it was a nightmare sometimes trying to get that conveyor belt in. Now, thankfully, we no longer have to do that. So if we get these all lined up perfectly and we bring you... No, because we'd have two more after this. Uh, okay, so we're going to put that in there. Then we remove this conveyor lift. Uh, actually, hang up that conveyor lift. And if I just press control on the ones I want to get rid of. That should get rid of all of them. Miss the one on the end. Uh, miss that one. And we should be able to go like this. You're a merger. You're all wrong. Okay, try this again. Okay, we want a conveyor splitter. This is the one I want. And same story, I just want to line up in the exact spot. Then if we put a conveyor lift, well, let's put in our next conveyor lift. And then put in our splitter. And there we go. This is why I couldn't get the magic belt. So you have to get that magic tiny belt in there. Which is really annoying. Okay. One of the recent updates they had is if we line these up correctly, they magically join. I don't need to put a belt in there. This little rubber section becomes just a tiny bit longer and covers up that distance. Uh, that one, that one, uh, that one joins up perfectly and in theory if you get your lines lined up you should be able to just place these in now i prefer to put in the conveyor lifts first just to make it a little bit easier to line them up it does mean i have to remove them all and put them all back uh, but they all look like they're complete. Okay, now you're not going to line up. Because I still managed to get that storage container. Go away. In the wrong spot. We want to bring you down. Around like that. We want a... Splitter... Uh, again, I'd have to put in that magic belt. It's actually easier to deconstruct it and reconstruct it, and then it magically hooks up. If we take our conveyor belt of coal and all the coal end up my inventory, dump it back in there. And we should see coal going down. Great, that's step number one. Step number two, link the belts. And I want to watch these. To make sure they're hooked up, I want to see coal going up. I do. That one's fixed. That one's done. Uh, obviously, you could build the whole lot and then find out that one of them was off by a fraction of a micrometer, one tick, and therefore didn't hook up. Uh, and because we're splitting off a split, off a split, off a split, 
obviously it's going to take more time for coal to get down to the end. Um, like this one hasn't got coal yet. That one should give it coal. First one goes straight through. That one gives it coal. Uh, actually, we should see the end one move. You get coal. Come on. A little bit of coal. Go to the right, please. There we go. Okay. So they're all hooked up. They're all got coal. Uh, we want to replace that one. And I can even replace all the way up to there. So that gets that done. And then power. I actually want a power pole. I actually did you unlock Mark II. No, we did, but they're actually, can I build a man? Man. Power Pulse Mark II is can be completed. New building unlocked. Okay. Power. Power Pole Mark II. Uh, difference between a Power Pole Mark I is you can have four connections. You can have seven connections. So if we get you... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... So we want you one, two, three. We want you right there. We're gonna hook you up, then 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 pull that power connection off. Nope. And plug that in there. And then finally hook that into the main grid and power should have skyrocketed through the roof. So, we now have plenty of power. I don't have to worry about power at all anymore because we're now on coal power, which is basically 100% renewable. I don't have to do anything. It's not a lot of power currently um, because we've only got one coal set up, uh, one set of coal plants set up. I do have this second belt over here, which I'm going to do the exact same as I've already done. Put in a second belt's worth of coal. Uh, coal generators, that is. You line up? Mm, sure. Helps if I had more height to aim with. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, come on. Six. Uh, we want to remove, nope. Yeah, there's critters underneath me that are not particularly happy that I'm up here and I and they can't reach me. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, we'd want a water plant, a couple of water plants. So actually, first thing I need to do is drop that there. Can I get water on this side? Possibly. Uh, production water extractor. Water is not deep enough. You need to place some deep water. I, I had it for a second there. Mm. Uh, logistics. No, not pipeline support. Pipeline. If I can bring you uh, vertical, yeah, one tick in from the edge. Here or over there? Let's go with here. And then I want to come...
sure. Yeah, that works. Okay. Uh, we're going to go from there out to here somewhere. Uh, wrong button. That one, that one, that one. Uh, are you in a straight line? About there. So that's the semi-hard stuff done. Uh, we want a storage container. Oh, that pipe's going to be right where we want to run a belt, I bet. Nope! That fits. Uh... So we want that there, remove the conveyor lift, pop the conveyor lift back on, uh, put on our first splitter, and as you can see, after you get the first one done and plotted out, it's not that hard to get the second power plant up and running. So that needs a foundation there for just a second. So I can bring the pipe through to there, then into there. That foundation goes there permanently. That comes out, that comes out, that comes out. Uh, cross junction goes, we're staying in the middle, right there next pipe if you find these difficult you can stand right well, let's go do it right here okay so if i'm standing right here i can you know, just hit that press my middle mouse button to select it and i want to go you know just to the left of where i'm standing uh so you, you do have options um, I prefer just standing on the pipe, aiming for center, aiming for my feet, aim for center, aim for my feet, so on and so forth. Uh, there we go, pipe, there to there, there to there. Will he run out of pipe? Uh, possibly not. Uh, that one, that one, that one. That one, and that one, and, well that one obviously didn't line up. What happened there? It really doesn't want to work. Hang on, let's grab our belt into there, into there. No, you're not being the one who's being difficult. You're the one who's being difficult. Actually, all the next ones are being difficult. Did I move over by? No. <laughs> okay, we'll put down the splitter first. Then we'll put the conveyor lift. No. Well, I am a bit further away. Oh, hang on. Did you? Oh, they all slipped back. Okay. Remove. 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 Pipe. 
There we go. Okay, where were we? We were feeding these full of. Full of belts. Okay, so they're all done. We've only got one machine, uh, one water machine hooked up currently. Um, so we've got to fix that along with fixing up the coal. Coal comes out. One, two. Goes straight into there. So that's our coal problem sorted. I don't have any coal in my inventory, which is always good. Uh, as for our water problems uh, and power problems, because we've got two problems now, uh, I can probably find a power pole. Out in the wilderness to run you off to. Oh, it's already got four of all connections. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, we'll run power to there, and then we'll run power up to there. So that's one water extractor running. Which is not going to be nearly enough. But what we can do is we can just pop... And it's not going to have an, a pump either. So we can put one there. One there. Pipe, same as last time, from there to there. With... A Cross support in the middle. I'm gonna run out of copper. Uh, we could put a cross support in. There's a tree in the way. That looks pretty good. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to put in a really quick cut and go grab some copper. All right, we're back with more copper. Uh, that support can go, and I need to crawl under here and go from that pipeline support to that pipeline support. On top of that, we're going to need a pump. Um, we already know from the last one that I don't need the pump to be too high, so I'm going to shove it fairly low. We're going to put... Where's that other power pump? Over there. Can we run through to that? Okay, and then I'm going to power from there down to here, into there, and into there. And then I need to go for a swim. So you need to be set to 75 just to save us some save us some power. That looks like fun to play with. Uh, 75, can I go down? I can swim down. Not very far. Uh, where's the other one? Over there. Uh, 75%. And everything's turned off, which means one of two things. Either my pump was too high, and we're not getting water... Okay, we need to crawl. Oh, who put copper cable under the... Is there a crash site right here? Oh, there is. What do you need? 70 megawatts. Conveniently, we have no power. Hey! Conveniently, we happen to be standing right where a bunch of power cables are. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one of those right there. I didn't even realize. Okay, so one of two things. Either our pump is too high up the pipe, which I highly doubt, or our pump's too low down the pipe, or I can't stand on the pipe. Okay. If you fail twice, <sighs> you throw down foundations, and then he fails again. One meta foundations. Encroaching on another's clearance. Really? Uh, flow rate of zero. Did I aim the pipe in the wrong direction? Logistics, 
pie. I did. Uh, apple. I fell literally straight off that. Okay. Foundations. Nope. Oh, there's the poisonous gas. Which it seems. Oh! We went right over the top of it. I didn't mean to. Okay. Early access, teething problems, yes. Okay, so you're doing 19.6. So we went really close with that one. Yeah, there's a lot of gas around. Uh, I'll have back my foundations and we'll run back upstairs. Uh, if you notice that there is still leaves coming out of these bins, we are still moving leaves over there to be converted. Um, yeah. When JD went and harvested half the planet, he did a good job. And turns out we can't make that jump without an extra ramp, which definitely keeps Mr. Tick in tow. So we can definitely see there is some water here. Uh, not a lot. Really not a lot. It's, it's still filling the other pipes. Flow rate, 92 meter, meters, yeah, the cubic meters, yeah. So after this pipe fills up, mostly, then the next pipe starts filling up. Uh, so, same story as before. Yes, I can jump on these pipes perfectly fine. The other ones were wet. That's what I'm blaming on. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three. Power pole mark two. Put that in there, 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 and that in there. <clears throat> you can also now upgrade power poles, which is really handy. So, you, Mr. Power Pole, can become a Mark II Power Pole. And then I have plenty of connections. So I can plug that straight in there. And our power doubles again. So we now can do... Uh, 1.2 kilowatts worth of power total. Um, these guys are running. They're running really slowly. Because we're just not consuming... Um, we're not consuming the power currently. Um, yeah, you can see this is full of water. Alright. Uh, and if we go back to our first pipe segment, first pipe segment, we're using three cubic meters worth of water, 30, 100, and drops back down as they cycle on and off. Um, same with these ones. Like we we have now have a ridiculous amount of power. Yep, this will drop back down and then go back up and then down. It's going to be all over the place. So that's it for this episode i do hope you guys enjoyed next episode i want to go play with uh i want to play with the awesome sync uh i'll also want to play with blueprints yes you heard me right blueprints i want to definitely we've got a temporary base we've now got permanent power um obviously i got to come back here and decorate and build a wall and put in some glass so we can see Mr. Tiki walk around. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'll i do that between episodes. Um, I actually probably won't do that by the next episode. I'll do that at some stage. Um, wall this in, add more power generators, probably after we get Mark II miners. Um, but yeah, I want to play with blueprints. I want to turn our temporary home into a permanent home. Um, I will, between episodes, probably add a lot of coal, uh, a lot of um, <sighs> words, uh, a lot more concrete. Um, manufacturing because although we're making a good amount I have a feeling we're going to need a lot more um, because yeah this is going to become our permanent home I really want to build a large base um, we don't have a lot of the pretty stuff that we get from the awesome shop yet because we haven't built an awesome sink now that we've got this set up I can start plopping down a couple of awesome sinks to use some of the stuff we're not using um, because I'm sure everything over there is 100% full by the time we get home what is that? Oh, that's our Caterium. 
which is stopped. Nope. Never mind, there's still stuff moving on the belts. Okay. Um, see, that's one thing. That's one thing we can put straight in the awesome sink, you know. Have a storage container full of the stuff and then take everything we don't need and run it straight into an awesome sink. Um, so yeah, they're all things we're going to be doing in the next episode. So playing with blueprints, playing with the awesome sink, um, and a lot of mass construction. I'd really like to get a whole smelter set up next episode, get this finalized and built out a whole lot. Um and yeah awesome sink that built smelter set up lots of things but anyway they're all gonna be for the next couple of episodes so thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next episode all right bye